Hey guys, Joe with Millennial Homesteading here. Got a little treat for you guys today. Uh, I'm not going to go into full details, but today we're going to talk about wheel bearings, wheel bearing play, and ABS sensors, and how your ABS sensor could give you an early warning to bearing failure. So this is out of my truck. It's a 14 Ram 1500. They're already done, both sides. And what you're looking at here is what's known as a hub assembly. This is where your tire and uh, rotor would mount. This triangle pattern is where it actually mounts into your spindle, and your spindle is what allows it to turn left and right. Uh, this here seats inside of a, well, part of your spindle, but it's a fitted seal in there. Uh, and then you have the three bolts that bolt in from the back. Your tire would be here. Your tire would be here. Your spindle would be here. And then you have three bolts that bolt in. So, how can your ABS sensor let you know that you have, or starting have, bearing failure? This is your ABS sensor. Plugs in as two wires. It's an induction type sensor. So inside here is a wheel that has teeth on it. And they're square teeth. Uh, and as the wheel spins, it creates a magnetic current, or an electrical current through magnetism. Because uh, in here is a little stub that has a coil of wire wrapped around it, and what happens when you run a magnet past a coil of wire? It induces a current. Although, be it very low, it's enough for the computer to pick up and read wheel speed, and that's how your wheel speed is read. Uh, you have it on all four sensors. One, two, three, four and you your computer tells wheel slip by reading these sensors uh let's say that three out of the fours are reading 34 miles an hour and one of them reads 70 all right that means that at 30 miles an hour you may have hit a spot of grease or a puddle and now you have a tire slip so uh, your computer tells your engine calm the rpms down slow it down let that tire slow down and come back down to normal uh, and if you're applying the brakes, it pulsates the brakes. Uh, it activates your ABS motor and allows your brakes to pulsate. But back to the bearings. And here are ball bearings. And as your tire spins, and over time, in uh, this case 110,000 miles of rough road, uh, they wear out. You know, they wear down. They have grease in there. These are non-serviceable for greasing. And they wear out. So right here is your joint where it spins. And that will eventually start to wobble. The rougher the roads, the more it wears out faster. And what happens is, is there's a very small gap between the sensor and that, that toothed wheel we were talking about. And as these bearings wear out, it gets a farther gap. So let's say you're driving to work one day and your ABS light comes on. You know, m normally that's not going to happen. But if you have an ABS light on there and you have a code for air gap, uh, wheel speed dropout or uh, fluctuating wheel speed check your wheel bearings all right on cars you have rear wheel bearings and front wheel bearings on CV on CV axled cars um, because that could be the starting signs of bearing failure and uh, if you don't know when these things go this here is what your CV shaft goes into this here is your bearing when those bearing balls go this whole section goes out, which means it takes your wheel, your rotor, your caliper, and everything else that is attached to this with it. Uh, normally, um, you will have your uh, caliper mount will hold this in for a little bit, you know, because it'll, your caliper will, will, if you have a caliper mount that wraps around the um, rotor, it'll catch it, but it's not a guarantee that it'll hold it because it's got to hold the whole weight of the truck. So if you have uh, you have ABS light on, check your wheel bearings. Jack it up, shake the tire back and forth, left and right, up and down. And if you feel anything in there, check it's not your ball joints. Um, have somebody hit the brakes for you. Um, if you have wheel bearing failure, uh, when you hit the brakes, that play will go away. Ball joints, it'll just keep going. So something to keep an eye on, guys, because uh, when a wheel bearing goes, you know, it's known to take lives. So be careful out there.